So I already went ahead and did my brows and if you guys want to see how I do that, I will leave my brow routine down below. And I'm also going to be spritzing my face with the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray just to make sure that everything stays on throughout the day. And I'm going to also be taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and dotting it all over my face. And if you guys want a reference to what shade you should get, I'm in the shade Ivory and I'm just patting that in with my damp beauty blender. Now taking a very light shade for concealer, I'm going to be taking my Rebecca Stella concealer and just highlighting my under eyes and also on my chin and nose. And again, patting that into place. And then I'm also going to be taking my LA Girl Velvet Bronzer Contour Stick. And this is in the shade Suede. And I'm actually just going to be contouring my cheekbones, taking it around my nose and on the top of my forehead just to make everything look nice, bronzy, and contoured. Recently in my videos, I have been raving about this translucent powder and I always use it to bake. So you guys have been asking me to talk about it a little. So this is the Skin Food Peach Saki Silky Finish Powder. And I swear to you guys, this is the best translucent powder I have ever used. It has no flashback. It smells like peaches and it keeps you matte all day long. So I really recommend that you guys go out and get this. And I just love it. You guys can get it on Amazon for about $7. It's amazing go get it and I'm also going to be using my Hula Benefit bronzer just bronzing up my face and then I'm also going to be baking under with the same powder just to make the look a lot more clean and crisp and I'm going to be dusting away all the excess powder with a powder brush For primer, I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden. And for today's look, I'm going to be using Velvet 59, so the Exotic Lotus Palette. And the first shade I'm going to be taking is this beautiful orange shade, and I'm going to be taking it in windshield wiper motions above my crease, but also inside my crease. Once I'm done blending, I'm going to be taking the excess on my brush and then just swiping it across my eyelid just to give it that smoky, messy type look. And with that same orange shade, I'm going to be running it on my lower lash line. Now taking a pencil brush, I will be taking the rusty red color and I'm going to be running it on my lower lash line as well. And this will really make your eyes pop if you have hazel eyes or blue eyes. Then I'm going to be going in with the mahogany shade and then I'm also going to be making circular motions on the outer parts of my eyes. And I'm also extending the color a little bit into my crease as well. And just taking a little bit more of that same color and also running it on my lower lash line just to kind of blend everything together. I want to bring back more of that rusty red color and I'm going to be swiping it on my lower lash line again and taking my Morphe 350 palette. You don't have to have this one because I understand that it's always sold out, but just taking a nice cream brow bone color. I wanted to open up my eyes a little bit more and not make it too dark, so I'm also taking it into my inner corner and then I'm going to be winging out my liner. This liner is by The Balm and it's called Schwing. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys would see that I've been wearing these lashes very, very often, and I love them so, so much. They're only a dollar on shopmiss8.com. I absolutely love that website for lashes, and they are called the Cara Eyelashes in the number 415. Then I'm taking my Falsies Push Up Mascara. I'm just blending both my lashes together and also taking it on my lower lashes. For blush, I'm going to be taking this Stelazi Matte Blush in the shade MB19. 
And for highlight, I'm going to be using a base first, and this is the So Susan Statement Skin Highlighting Crayon. I'm just placing that on the high points of my cheekbones and also on the very tip of my nose because that's where I love to highlight. Blending it out with my finger, then over top, I'm placing my MAC Oh Darling highlighter, and I absolutely love it. And it does kind of tend to bother many of you that I put on a lot of highlights, but I just love it. You guys don't have to put on as much as I do. I just go above and beyond because highlighting is my everything. And whenever I do lots of highlighting and all this face makeup, I like to take my Scandinavia Finishing Spray and it just really locks everything in all day. Then I'm taking my favorite lip combo, so I'll be using my DKC Waterproof Gel Lip Liner in the shade Naked. And over top, I'll be taking my Velvet 59 Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vanilla Macaroon. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and also subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Love you guys so, so much and I will talk to you guys in my next video.